I love that I get to work with people and play games. <laughs> that is like the easiest and simplest way that I can put it because you mention one game and you can have like 10 people from out of nowhere and they're like, I play that too. And then before you know it, everybody's on the server and we're all playing together. I'm currently a senior producer at Zynga. The fun thing is that we always say that it's cat herding. <laughs> because uh, we always have to get a lot of people together and to make sure that we're meeting the deadline at the same time. Um, but we're also the people who are kind of the first line of defense in terms of the scheduling and meeting those deadlines. So we are also leveling called the party poopers. Uh, we kind of uh, make sure that everything is getting delivered within a certain scope and on time. I definitely discovered video games when I was uh, very young. The first thing that I remember playing is Snake and Caterpillar <laughs> when I was like five. I didn't know what was happening. All I knew is that there were a lot of really bright colors and there's a lot of things that were moving around that was super fun. I used to get Game Informer magazine all the time because I wanted to know, you know, what the latest games were. So I was like, okay, journalism will be my, my foot in the door for video games. At least I'll be able to work around it. So I did that and then two years in, they closed the program. <laughs> A majority of us just went into the English program and I finished out my undergrad as an English major. So I started doing a bunch of research and looking for other schools that had any kind of game program and I was able to find Full Sail. And since I already had a bachelor's degree, I was more than happy to see that there was a master's program here. So I applied and I was able to get in and I couldn't start fast enough. <laughs> Once that was over, I was able to get my first job at BioWare working on Star Wars. It was cool because we were basically raiding the whole time. So it was just like a team of 16 of us and we were all just like raiding all the time. So I did that for quite some time and then uh, kind of bounced around a little bit. All the different like industries that I've been able to kind of dip my toes into, it's all been very interesting. And I would definitely say that it rounded me out to be the producer that I am today for sure. Nadia is always very giving with her time um, and her experience. She's always willing to help out an intern or, or a, a person that's new in their career, give them guidance, help them network. With Jared Jeffrey, I met him at an IGDA event that was being held at Full Sail. And then he and I just continued to run into each other at all the various different game conferences. Once we both started working in Austin, really connected. He's just such a great human being. When Nadia said that she was being inducted in the Hall of Fame, I was just like, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Through our careers, we've always been uh, trying to help each other with just getting to the next step, getting to the next point. And Nadia is always looking out for me. She's, she's awesome. She's very thoughtful. So far, my career philosophy has always been to always make sure that you're bettering your, your career and also your life, right? Because that's very important. When I first started out in the games industry, work-life balance wasn't really a thing, right? But now I'm so happy to see that it is definitely pillars for a lot of big companies and small ones too. So the thing that I did is that I knew my worth and I knew what I wanted and my goals in life. And I knew that either it was going to happen at certain companies or it wasn't. So uh, always with respect and always with grace to try to move and elevate yourself. So the induction into the Hall of Fame, I never thought in a million years that I was going to get it because I always just generally thought that it was people who worked for, you know, big name companies and things like that. Obviously, like internal monologue is like, oh, they made a mistake. Like, obviously, they're going to, you know, realize what a fraud I am and, and take it all back. I love that it's not just about having a successful career, but it's also about giving back to the community. How can I help the students succeed? How can I help them get their foot in the door? It's still surreal <laughs> to me, but um, I just feel absolutely honored and, you know, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>